Thank you so much for that. Did you, were you wanting to say something? Well, Ruth, I think... Our paths have crossed before. Yeah, for the children's workforce. So yeah. it's the same sort of issues really, isn't it? And exactly all those initiatives that you've shared with us are, you know, completely, as you know, on the right tracks, but it's about persistence. It's how long things take to change. I was at a day today when we were thinking about um, preparation for retirement. What does that mean? What does that mean for women who have different career routes? We're talking across these Midlands, you know, it's really important to think about Leicester in our wider region and we know that there's huge hidden unemployment of women. We know women are concentrated through kind of um, occupational segregation in these health, social care, teaching jobs. We describe that. So it is systemic change, isn't it? And it's long term and it's cultural. So to hear you describe all age and age friendly activities is really key. I think, you know, where we came in and we talked about um, ageing, um, many of us felt a little bit kind of alarmed and anxious. And then we talked about we didn't get feedback from you around age friendly. But I'd suggest that's the way to think about things that we, as you say, think about opening up opportunities rather than, um, you know, in the past things have been closed to women. It's, it's really recent, isn't it, stuff about women's economic yeah. inclusion. So actually, your points, Chris, about opening up through DMU, I know you're doing terrific work through DMU, to kind of say, actually, 21st century, global economy, these are the opportunities in that. No, and, and I think, it, you know, it's absolutely right that we look at what the problem is. And, and the... Um, it, it is this group thing, you know, and mention if you want to get the same results, do things the same way. And if we look at how we do organise our economy and the role of women in the economy versus the role of men in the economy and the amount of unpaid work that women do in the domestic uh, environment compared to men. And if you look at um, maternity provision and paternity provision and the culture that we've got in this country, and, you know, should it be? the woman that automatically stays at home. And if you look across to our Scandinavian colleagues, they have slightly different views, although it is still by the vast majority of women that undertake the, 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 the uh, parental care there. But there's a role for if you will, whoever is not in that group of people that essentially is being exploited in one way or another by society. For them to play a role, the case and example was at our International Women's Day event back in March when we had a conference and the room was probably at least 90% women in the room. And you know, to move opinions, to move people, we have to engage and almost change the narrative, find the appropriate currency in the narrative that's going to engage you know, in this situation the dads to undertake more of the care, to do more of the um, ageing parental care. Um, you know, and I don't think we're really, I don't see you know, men being engaged in the debate in a, in a meaningful way. It, it, you know, we need to change, find the positivity in it and talk about the benefits of being a father and the benefits of taking you know, more work, later care responsibility and, and, and so on. And I think that's something that we're missing a trick with at the moment. Um, for example, parental care. That's about engaging the men in that debate around it and having that debate as a society around why it should always automatically be. I mean, of course, there are biological um, differences, which means that it leads us down the path which says that it's the mum that does it. But there's lots of examples where it doesn't have to be the mum that does it. Uh, and, you know, to share that and, you know, move to Tomford University, we have shared parental policy, which means that, that um, you know, if, it, if there's one of our, it doesn't necessarily have to be the dad because if you're in a same-sex relationship, but whoever it would take the, the paternal role takes time off to share that with, with, the, with, the, with the mother in the situation. I think we need to be doing more to promote that.